So example 8.35 is a very interesting uh, 10 mark question. It says that a bank is paying interest, basically compound interest. And how it does that is by treating the interest rate as the instantaneous rate of change of principal. Okay. So what you are supposed to find out is if okay, the interest rate is 8% per year, you are supposed to calculate the percentage increase in the account over one year so if he's giving an interest at eight percent per year how much is the uh, sum in your account going to increase over a year right that's what he's asking you to find and the interest is compounded uh, at the rate of eight percent right so now let's assume that a is the principal right right the principal or the amount you have invested into that bank so the rate at which the principal is changing right over a time t right the rate at which that's what i'm writing by da by dt the rate at which the principal is changing over a time t is proportional to right just imagine you're investing some money into the bank and you want that money to multiply so the rate at which the money multiplies will always depend upon the amount of money you have invested in the bank right so now if we want to remove this proportional sign we're going to say that da by dt the rate at which this principal is going to change is going to be equal to the product of the amount i have invested in the bank and the rate of interest so you can also say this k is a constant but in this particular scenario k will be the rate of interest right and you see that he has given the rate of interest as 8% so we can write this equation as da by dt is equal to 0 0.08 right because he is given k is 8% that is the rate of interest is 8% so da by dt is 0 0.08 into a right this is the equation that we have here what is this this is nothing but you know that we can write a is equal to c e power k t do you know how we got this so let me do a quick re d a by d t is equal to c e power k t so we are going to see how we got this right so we know that da by dt see this step is equal to k into a so i'm bringing all the a's to one side and k dt so if you integrate on both sides becomes log a is equal to k t plus log c where c is just a constant right and then we're going to write this as log a minus log c is equal to kt if you already know this step you can ignore and fast forward to the next step but this is in case for people who don't know so log of a minus log of c can be written as log of a by c by logarithmic rules is equal to kt then we take e power on both sides e log a by c is equal to e power kt right so e power log a by c becomes a by c is equal to e power kt or we can write it as a is equal to c e power kt i was a little fast in explaining this because i have already done the explanation for this in i think example 8.34 right so if you have a doubt you can go and check back into that example so now proceeding you know that a is equal to c e power kt therefore in this particular sum it becomes the principal at any given time t is equal to c into c e power 0 0.08 which is the percentage okay that into t right we are expected to find the percentage increase in the account in one year right so when you want to find that it will be the amount at the end of one year minus the amount that was there initially by the initial amount right 
so this is how you usually calculate the of course into 100 because you want to calculate the percentage so this is how we usually calculate the increase in the amount in a year right so you it's the I'll repeat the formula again so it is your amount that was there at the end of one year minus the amount that was there initially divided by the amount that was present initially into 100 so in this case it would be a of 1 is nothing but c e power 0 0.08 t is just 1 so it remains as it is minus a of 0 substitute in this equation if t is 0 then it just becomes c divided by c right into 100 now we can write this as let's take c outside e power 0 0.08 minus 1 by c into 100 right and they would have already given you in the sum that e power 0 0.08 is 1.0833 minus 1 into 100 so that becomes 0 0.0833 into 100 which is nothing but 8.33 so the percentage increase at the end of one year is 8.33 that's it it's quite an easy sum to solve but just remember that to find the percentage increase in a year, you have to remember this formula. Otherwise, it's quite simple.